Today we're going to do a simple science experiment with stuff that you probably have lying around your house already. Since Halloween has come and gone, I'm sure you have some candy corn lying around since that seems to be what goes stale the quickest. So we're going to use this and see what liquids would do to this candy. So what you need is candy corn, four bowls, I, you can do as many or as little as you want. I would say at least three. I'm doing four different liquids. Um, set up your bowls so that they're all next to each other. And then take your liquids and place them in front of them so you know which one is which. You don't have to use bowls. You can use cups. Anything that would help you do this experiment. So my first liquid is vinegar. Then I'm going to have some vegetable oil, some rubbing alcohol, and finally just distilled water. So what do you think will happen when we add these liquids in with the candy corns? My guess is that they're going to dissolve the candy corns um, since the candy corn is made with sugar and I know sugar dissolves in water. So I'm going to guess that's what will happen. I, won I wonder if it will sink or float with the candy corn if the liquid depends on that. We'll have to wait and see. So I'm going to take each of my liquids and pour about one inch into each bowl carefully without splashing. Make sure you leave them in front of each bowl so that when you record your data, you know which one belongs to which. Ooh. Be careful with these two because some of these might stain if you spill them, or they might burn if you get them in your eyes. So if you're doing this alone, I would wear safety goggles or put plastic down not to spill, um, or have an adult help you. Now time to add the candy corn. So you're going to add two pieces to each container, to each bowl. Try not to splash or spill any. Again, it could stain, it could burn, depending on what you're using. So far, I'm just adding the candies. It doesn't look like much is happening to any of them. They're not floating. I'm going to let these sit and I'm going to check on them again in 10 minutes. The candy corn in the water has begun to dissolve. There's actually pieces missing from it, and the water is changing color since the dyes are coming off. The rubbing alcohol looks pretty much the same. Nothing too interesting to note there. The vegetable oil also looks the same. And the vinegar looks like it also has begun to dissolve. Not quite as much as the water, but it is definitely getting there. We're going to check again in five minutes to see if anything has changed. We're going to take the candy out and compare them. So I have just two regular candy corns that I'm going to use to compare the ones in our solutions too. As you can see, these are the regular ones. These little pieces are what's left of the ones in the water. These are the ones from the rubbing alcohol, the vegetable oil, and what's left of the ones from the vinegar. There's still quite a bit left of these ones compared to 
the water ones. In fact, if you look at the water bowl, you can see all the colors that have come off from the candy. So right away I can see that the rubbing alcohol really doesn't change anything about the candy corn, except maybe its taste. The vegetable oil really doesn't change it either. I'm thinking that if I had left the water ones in and the vinegar ones in, that they would have dissolved completely into the water and the vinegar. I don't really think that anything would happen to the rubbing alcohol and the vegetable oil one. I decided to look up what it is about the water or the vinegar that made the candy corn dissolve. And for a liquid to, to, to dissolve a solid, the molecules of the liquid and solid must attract one another. The bond between oxygen and hydrogen atoms in sugar gives the oxygen a slight negative charge and the hydrogen a slight positive charge. Sucrose is a polar molecule. The polar water mo molecules attract the negative and positive areas on the polar sucrose molecules, which makes sucrose dissolve in water. A nonpolar substance like oil does not dissolve a polar substance like sucrose. By using other products in your house, you can find out what other substances might dissolve candy corn, or maybe you can switch up the candy and do other kinds of candy like chocolate or mints. That might be something interesting. I also wonder what might have happened if we stirred the liquids more. Would it dissolve the candy corn quicker? Would it slow it down? These are all good questions that we can do in another experiment. I hope you were able to learn something from this experiment, and I hope you have success in your own experiments as well.